So we've looked at the um, Newman projections at, of different dihedral angles for ethane. Let's now look at propane. And propane is not so different from ethane. So it's really just ethane with an extra CH3 coming off of it. So we've shown all these Newman projections for ethane. So now we can just do, the propane will be trivially simple because all we'll do is uh, swap out one of our hydrogens for with, or with a methyl group. So let's redraw our picture and let's make this top hydrogen into a methyl group instead. Now our picture gets a little crowded because you know you got to keep space to tuck in all these hydrogens. But here we go. We'll we'll make this methyl group. That's a nice handle and that's a nice landmark. And we'll make this hydrogen the one that we look at. And once again, our dihedral angle is zero degrees. This is an eclipsed confirmation. Now uh, let's rotate our back hydrogen and of course that's going to move all of the hydrogens on that back carbon because we're really rotating about this uh, central carbon carbon bond we'll get a new Newman projection the front carbon stays the same so let's just redraw it back hydrogens go star star and now our dihedral has opened to 60 degrees this is now a staggered conformation Let's keep going. Let's rotate again. Note that I'm, I'm drawing these as being separated with equilibrium arrows. That's because energetically this molecule is continuously rotating about this bond. So this is a true equilibrium. Hydrogen, that was not the best way to draw that, but it's close. So there's our starred hydrogen. There's that methyl. Dihedral is now 120. We're back to an eclipse conformation. And lastly, we'll draw one more Newman projection. Now our starred hydrogen has made it all the way to the bottom of the picture and our dihedral is about 180, a little messy, and that's a staggered conformation. So we can look at this energetically. Now we know with eclipse conformations, when we eclipse two hydrogens, that is, that cost of that interaction is 1 kcal per mole. And so this is going to be 1 kcal per mole. The question is, what is this? As it turns out, eclipsing a methyl and a hydrogen is just a little bit more energy. It's 1.3 kcal per mole. Now in a staggered uh, conformation, there's actually no energy cost in this molecule. You might think, well, maybe that methyl group and hydrogen bump into each other. But the fact is, there's no energy cost and that's considered zero. Once again, when we go to the next eclipse, this is 1.0, 1.0, because those are eclipse hydrogens. This is 1.3, and then this is also zero energy. So when we draw this up, put in our energy axis, and we have theta, so this is kcals per mole. Zero, 60, 120, 180. Now the peak energy, instead of being 3.0 kcals per mole, it's going to be 3.3 in the case of butane. I'm sorry, in the case of propane, unlike 3.0 as it was with ethane. But the basic shape of the curve is very similar. You know, it, I mean, it's a hideous shape, but, but you get the idea. It looks like a sine wave, sort of. So this is our energy curve. Again, just as we saw with ethane, the staggered conformations of um, propane are the low energy conformations. That doesn't mean these other conformations are impossible. They're not. And that doesn't mean other dihedral angles like 90 or 132 aren't possible. But the lowest energy conformations have a dihedral angle of 60 and 180.